environment's changed a little bit with kind of a, the Conor McGregor uh, factor with how a lot of fighters do seem to be looking at super fights. I don't know if people are tending to be more interested in super fights than title uh, contentions. What's your thought on that? Um, I mean, to be honest, I, I do want to fight the top contenders in my division. Of course I do. Um, I, I'm more than aware that people like Rockhold and Weidman and, you know, some idiots in the media are trying to portray me as this guy, this champion that's avoiding the competition, you know, which isn't the case at all. You know, I took Rockhold on on two weeks' notice, knocked him out cold. Uh, the UFC offered me Dan Henderson. I'm like, yeah, sure, hold on, that makes sense. And the guy knocked me out cold. I'd like to avenge that loss. All fighters want to avenge their losses. They offered me that fight, I accepted. Um, and as I say, they came to me with the GSP thing. All the other fighters are booked up. When they are cleared, whoever emerges as the rightful contender, I'll happily fight them. I want to fight them. I want to fight Chris Weidman. I did, did a perfect scenario. I beat GSP, Ornick Diaz, and then I beat Chris Weidman. Um, what about Rashad? Rashad Evans is coming down now. Is uh, that's an interesting throw in there? Yeah, absolutely. Rashad is a great addition to the middleweight division. There's another guy that has a highly controversial, razor close split decision victory over me almost ten years ago. Uh, now he comes down to my weight class. I mean, we'll see. I mean, Rashad, you know, he's going to beat Tim Kennedy first, and yeah, he's got to get on a roll. He's lost a few fights. With the great, I love Rashad, he's awesome. You don't win one fight and get a shot, but I, Rashad, yeah, of course, Rashad, any of these guys, any of them. Listen, I've fought everybody in the UFC for over 10 years. Nothing changes just because I've got the belt. Lou Rockhold's trying to say that I'm avoiding everybody like the plague. That is not the case. He's got a, he, he's got a fight booked. It's not like he's sat on the sidelines saying, I want to fight Bisping and I'm avoiding everybody. He's got a fucking fight book. Chris Wyman has got a fight book. I don't know why Chris Wyman and Rockhold didn't fight each other. I don't know why that didn't, why they didn't just make that same fight. I don't know. Maybe Wyman's scared of Rockhold. I ain't scared of Rockhold. I, I fought him with no training camp. I knocked him out cold in three minutes. Um, it's a thick division. So, but it, it seems like Wyman. You think Wyman's going to be the cream that rises to the top? I get no, the impression. No, 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 but he, he, he's a fight that I'd like, you know, because, you know, he, he, he's, he's a worthy challenger. He's only lost one fight, you know, to Rockhold. Um, he's got his hands full against Romero. That's going to be a tough fight. Um, you got Jacare, you got Uriah Hall, uh, you got a couple of guys coming up. Uriah Hall, don't make me laugh. Um, um, yeah, no, no, there is. It's stacked. It's absolutely stacked. I just think because Wyman and Romero is happening before Rockhold and um, Jacare, they're just going to beat them to the punch. You, you know what I'm saying? But, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, will Wyman beat Romero? We don't even know. Romero, to be honest, I've got no interest in facing him anytime soon. He's just served a suspension. From what I find um, in my studies, I ain't no scientist, but the scientists that write say the advantages of performance enhancing drugs take a long time to get out of your system. So, fair play to Chris Wyman, but I, I, I wouldn't fight him coming back of a six month suspension. That, 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 the, the advantages are still in his system. Simple as that. He can say that he um, had a tainted supplement. The fact of the matter is, he served the suspension. So, you were guilty. So I ain't fighting Romero anytime soon. I'm done with fighting people that juice. Simple as that. So shame on him. Shame on his whole team. Uh, if Wyman wins, I'll fight him. If Jack Ray wins, I'll fight him. If Rockhold wins, he can get it again. You know, so I'm here.